watching. Today we are in the magnificent Bangkok and we're going to be doing a tour of Chinatown. This is going to be considered like a, a day trip, Luke's day trip. So I'm going to take you on a tour and show you the, the best bits and pieces of Bangkok Chinatown. I'm kind of imagining if one of, a friend or a family member was visiting me in Bangkok and they said, hey Luke, I want to go and check out Chinatown. I'll say, come along, I'll show you all these magnificent sites because I've just spent a few weeks uh, researching uh, and exploring Chinatown in great depth and I've put together a series of videos. So this is kind of like the conclusion of my uh, Chinatown expeditions, putting all the best bits in together and bundling it up into a nice day trip. Lampong Station is where I am now uh, and some believe that the origins of the name Hua Lampong have uh, is connected to the Muslim uh, community that lived nearby here and the Muslim community they have, had a lot of cattle here and the name that they referred to this place uh, was called Tung Hua Lampong which uh, translates to swaggering bull plains so this uh, that's one theory about where the name came from, Hua Lampong. A second theory about the name Hua Lampong uh, focuses on the word Lampong, and Lampong uh, is a type of tree that was abundant in this area. And a third theory for the name, where the name Hua Lampong came from, is a combination of a Malay word and a Thai word. The Thai word Hua means to float, refers to floating, and a uh, Malay word for Lampong is a bridge, so it refers to a floating bridge. Uh, Loi Hua Lampong. Uh, and that, that's, that this area was right next to a canal, so there was a floating bridge on the canal. So that's where a third theory as to where this uh, train station got its name from. Interestingly, the original train station, Hua Lampong, is actually exactly where the MRT station is built uh, right now. So that was the original train station, uh, and that was eventually demolished. And this one was it was uh, this one was built nearby. This magnificent train station here was was completed in 1916. There are 12 tra uh, platforms here at uh, Bangkok Railway Station, as it's officially known as, and. At its peak, there was around 130 trains that would depart from uh, this station every day and taking uh, approximately 60,000 passengers. Now that was because this train station was the termi terminus for four major, four of the five major train lines in Thailand. Uh, now this is no longer the case because there's been a magnificent brand new uh, transport hub which is built at Dang Sur and that not only has all the major uh, trains connecting to there but it's also a, bit, a bus station as well so therefore this uh, magnificent building uh, the decision was made to close it down and to move all the uh, railway uh, railway lines and, and train uh, to move all the trains train activity to Bang Sur however this faced a bit of opposition this proposal faced a fair bit of opposition from the people because the people absolutely loved this train station and they didn't want to see it disappear because the original plan was to demolish it or refurbish it or, to, or renovate it or change it to, and to construct something like a multi-purpose building here. Uh, but people didn't like that. They wanted to preserve the history uh, and, and then the life of the, they wanted to preserve this tr uh, train station in some way. So power to the people, uh, this has actually happened. So December 23rd, 2021, a decision was made that this train station will remain an active train station and that there will be approximately 20 trains uh, departing from here every day. 
which is a lot less than the 130 that it used to receive in its heyday, but it means that this magnificent train station will be preserved and will, will continue as people know and love it. Uh, but it is a really, really wonderful uh, train station. Uh, magnificent, neo-Renaissance design. It was designed by an Italian architect. And it's really, really wonderful place, quite a kind of magical place to wander around. Um, and this is uh, one of the stops on Luke Walk's Chinatown tour. I'm here with my friend Jim, and Jim has just spotted a fantastic display here. Uh, we've, we, he's, he's theorised that it's got to do with something about train, train safety. Um, and some kind of warnings, or is it a how-to, how to get killed? Uh, got this guy here, got his legs stuck under. This guy, he's trying to run in front of the train. I like his hairstyle, and I like his, his clothing. Um, this guy also, I don't know what he's done. He's got his foot stuck under the wheel. This poor guy, it looks like his friend's shoved him, or he's trying to catch him. I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know how these two guys got up here. But they're on the roof and one of them's hit his head on the uh, on the bridge. This poor lady was selling her, her noodles and she's hit by a train. Poor old buffaloes. They got hit by the train as well. This kid's shooting at something. He's throwing rocks. Oh look at this poor guy. He's hit his head on one of the posts. Uh, this is a, I like I like this display. Uh, Oh, here's another good, good one here. The kid's doing some graffiti. It's a nice display. I like this. This is a, a little gallery. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to read Thai, but I, I haven't quite got it down yet. But if someone could tell me what that sign says, uh, I might have to ask. I'll ask around and see if someone can tell me what that sign says and try and add a little bit more depth and meaning to this impressive little art gallery there.